Okay, like the saying goes, breaking transmission. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. So this morning, I was, you know, getting things ready for my baby's birthday and um, I got a call. Actually, I was expecting a call. So because of that, and the call I was, ex sorry, and the call I was expecting, I don't know the number. So ordinarily, I don't pick numbers that I don't know. In this case, I picked the call that came in this morning. I was in the kitchen and that person called me and he mentioned a person name that I know, a family friend that I know so well and I thought the man was the one calling, you know. So, and the way this person called my name and I, I, I and when I asked him if you are the person and he said yes, I said, oh wow, long time, where have you been? You know, we were exchanging pleasantries. Then the next thing, this karma mentioned something about agricultural grants. I know agricultural grants goes on in Nigeria, but um, unfortunately, they don't disclose this, like government doesn't disclose it to many people. Or I would rather say, even when government discloses it to the country, these people that feel they are in the high places, like people in governments when they are being shared to to go to their local governments or to their states to give out grants to people they hijack it is the order of the day in this place in this country they hijack it and unfortunately they'll be sharing it to, to their families only so when he mentioned about the government grants i told him i said oh innocently i said oh yes i know about it i applied for it two years ago because i love agriculture and i have a sister who is into agriculture and she's doing well so i've been looking for a way to venture into agriculture but hey not in the matter they came so we he engaged me in the agricultural grants and told me that the grant is for free uh, that government will not take any money back the only thing they will do is to come and inspect to know if you're actually doing it and i said sure i know by the way grants are always free you know and the only thing i know will happen is yes you're right they're going to expect it in the long run to know if you're actually utilizing the money the way they expected you to so the next thing, he, he gave me a number and said that they gave him two slots since he's closer to them so that they will give me the money. And he said the money ranges from 5 million to 10 million. I said, okay. He said, okay, um, one of the people that pays the grant from government will call me that he will tell the person to call me. And I said, no problem. Then when I spoke with the second person, I spoke with the funny one thing first from the voice I noticed something fishy but you know somebody talking and at the same time you're not hearing them talk because the bars he's, he's a man the bars is so deep it's almost blowing my phone up so I told the person I said okay why don't you put everything you are telling me into writing since I can hear you properly your bars is about to blow up my phone so put them in writing so that I can read through it so to cut the long story short this person now said in their office that I'm supposed to pay 20,000 Naira for 1 million grant, that if I want 2 million grant is, is 40,000 and that um, if I need 5 million, I should multiply it. I told him to multiply, he said 100,000. So within me, I smiled. I said, okay, no problem. He said, okay. And I, immediately he sent information that I should pay into. Now remember guys, the one that called me, I thought was my family friend, said that they were in the bank, in the bank paying people's money. Now this one called me and now said he is at the office. All right, I said, don't, no worries, I'll get back to who actually told me about you. And we ended the call, so I had to call. But before I placed the second call to the person I thought was a family friend, I felt in my spirit like something said, speak to him because I was already fuming. By then, I've already known that they are scammers. And my usual self, my everyday self will always just say, if like if, it's, if I'm speaking with, I don't even speak with scammers. What I do to them is I'll allow them to talk their rubbish. Then the next thing I will say, go get a, li go get a life and get away from my phone out of anger. But in this manner, I was fuming, already ready to even call so many names, idiots and the, the rest of them. Immediately I died him, the phone was ringing. One, a voice in me just says, speak to him. So he picked the call and said, eh, I called my name, how have you? I, I opened my mouth to call him idiot and what came out was why? He said, I don't understand this. I opened my mouth again and what I said was, why do you think this is the best way for you to make money? 
and immediately I felt peace within me. Instead of cursing, I started speaking to him. I spoke directly to his soul. Like, I speak to him in such a way that I, as a human being, I never knew that I was making an impact. So I started speaking to him. I told him, you are suffering wherever you are. We all are suffering in this country. Why do you think this is a way you make money? By duping innocent people that are also struggling, um, making their own money with their sweats? Do you think this is the best way? This is how people die on timely death. This is how people bring crosses upon their generations to come. This is how sudden sickness is. Everything happened to people mysteriously. So guys, I can't say everything I, I said to him, but I started speaking and started speaking and started speaking into his soul. Do you know what's happened? The next Next thing I heard was, forgive me. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I will confess. And I'm like, what? What's going on here? Within my mind anyway, because the part of me as a human being came out. I said, go ahead. I'm listening. He started telling me how he got my number from Facebook on some innocent person's page that knows me. So when he narrated all these things, I told him, can't you see you have a gift? And I'm seeing your gift, but you are not seeing your gift. It means that you are good at online stuff. Why don't you see if you can get jobs online and work for a living and make a clean money? Why feeling that duping people will help you? You know, I kept on talking to him. The guy narrated everything, explained to me, even told me they are in gangs that dupes people. Started confessing. Now you guys tell me if this is not a... Um, if this is not a miracle working God in action, what is it? Because if you tell me this is not God working, I don't know what to tell you anymore. But Holy Spirit through me arrested this guy immediately. To the extent that a stranger started confessing, telling me what they do, telling me the gang, telling me how they do people of their hard earned money. And you know what I told him? I said, I'm not going to report you. Because if I report you, and they dealt and they decided to deal with you does this stop the rest of the gang i said you have to give your life to christ i want you to change so that your gang when they see you and they call you again for evil days and you say no so guys he started confessing started saying even telling me their secret even telling me how they operate what they do to people that is the innocent people out there and started begging me that he wants to change i said please i want you to change it's best you give your life to christ so that you don't die on timely death you don't bring causes upon your family and your generations to come because i know wherever you are living you want to live you don't want anything to happen to you so the guy started begging me to help him that he wants to quit that he doesn't want to do it again and that he will throw away the number he called me with and he will get that he has a number that is not for scamming people you know apologizing i said okay that's fine but please if i can be able to change you i believe you will change a thousand and one people out there so please do the needful i believe god is calling you God doesn't want you to do this again. It could be the reason why God even allowed you to get across to me, knowing fully well that you will get arrested. So the, the surprising thing that I want to tell you guys is a scammer called me and at the end of the day, started asking for forgiveness, even opened up, telling me his real name, who he is, where he stays, and his gang, and how they operate, but that he's ready to change so that the rest, will, when they watch him, they will change as well. So I'm trying to tell us this message. Why? It's not everybody you mess around with. There are some people that move with spiritual beings that are ready to fight and deal with whoever that crosses their path. I am that type of person. And I'm sure you watching me, check yourself very well. You could be one of those people. You could purchase, you could purchase that gift, but you don't know. And I told you how to use this. Summon them to work for you. Tell them when something strange you don't really understand is happening. Call upon them. These are our guided angels that God assigned to every one of us. You will say you don't have it. You have it, my dear. You have it. So this is a miraculous thing that happened this morning. Isn't this God awesome? Isn't God wonderful? You can't keep scamming people and think you are getting away with it. No. One day, your cup will be full. And that will be the end of that person. So today I pray for all of you. May you not go, may you not meet any scammers, thieves, kidnappers, whoever they are that deals only in bad things today and forevermore. Amen. 
let the Holy Spirit continue to guide each and every one of us to the rightful path for us to do better that we were yesterday in Jesus mighty name I pray amen thank you so much all um, I'm so happy and I thank God you heard this story so please remember the theme of this topic for today is for you to start making use of your spiritual armies assigned to you by God so that a lot of roadblocks will be cleared for you so thank you so much remember if you know you haven't subscribed please try and subscribe and press on that bell notification so that when I post a new video you'll be notified thank you so much once again all the best and have a good day meanwhile say happy birthday to my baby bye <laughs>